Hi, I'm Julie with Visit Myrtle Beach, and today we are at Huntington Beach State Park with Mike Walker, who is the interpretive park ranger here. We're in their beautiful nature center, which is new-ish, right? Just it is. Last uh, year. Opened in September of last year. Well, the reason we showed up today is because we had a video go viral of an alligator just having a great time in the surf at Myrtle Beach. And it raised some concerns and some questions about alligators. They really are fascinating creatures. And I know there are a lot of alligators here at Huntington Beach State Park. And I know you're an expert. So we just wanted to ask you a few questions sure. and ask you why you think there was an alligator in the surf in Myrtle well, Beach. Okay, so that is not a normal thing. That's actually quite rare. Um, so alligators are, are most definitely, they are freshwater marsh animals. Uh, they don't have any mechanisms that deal with salt. Uh, if they stay too long in salt water and ingest seawater, it will have fatal consequences for them. So generally when we, on the rare t times that we see an alligator on the beach, it's basically looking for something. Usually it's looking for a body of fresh water. It may have been driven out of its former uh, freshwater marsh habitat by a, a larger, more territorial alligator. Uh, or uh, also keep in mind, much of this year has been very dry. So right. a lot of those uh, freshwater marshes have dried up. And uh, so if they run out of freshwater, uh, freshwater marshes, that kind of forces them out to look and, and try to find another one. And rarely they'll use the coast and the ocean to move from point A to point B, but it is definitely not their natural habitat. They do not spend very much time in there at all. So that, that's not their destination. They're no, just no. walking along the beach to get to another body of water. Right, yeah, exactly. And primarily because I think you said bullying. I'm pretty sure yeah, that yeah, you're but, saying they got yeah, bullied out of their Right, that, that, is a, that is a factor. <laughs> of the, being reptiles and cold blood animals, uh, if all the fresh water dries up, they have to have water to help maintain their body temperature. Right. So that will also force them into salt water. Even though they can't drink it and survive, it will help them cool themselves down. So when we see them on the beach, they're just trying to cool down. They're not hunting humans for food. No. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we are not part of their normal diet. That's and right. and, and uh, people getting bitten by alligators is extremely rare. I mean, let's be honest. Yeah. The traffic you know, on the roads is much more dangerous than, than anything you're going to encounter in nature. So we know it's very, very rare to see an alligator on the beach. Exactly. However, in the very rare instance that somebody does approach an alligator or see one, what is the best thing they can do to avoid a dangerous situation? Uh, well, basically, if you see an alligator on the beach, just steer clear of it. Uh, you can also contact the Department of Natural Resources. Uh, they have a hotline number that they monitor 24 hours a day. For anybody interested in learning more about the alligators, the saltwater marshes, the ecosystem, Huntington Beach State Park is the place to come. They have a beautiful discovery center. They have experts like Mike Walker. So it's really a treat to have this be part of the Grand Strand. Yes, and uh, we also have uh, this time of year, um, we have recently restarted our summer program schedule. So we actually offer guided walks to observe alligators in the wild and learn more about them. And we offer those four times a week uh, here at the park. You can find out more information on our website at southcarolinaparks.com. That's excellent. Thank you so much for taking some time with us. That's we really pleasure. appreciate it. Very interesting. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Mike. Thank you all.